Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me again. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching these. Over uh, the next episode, this guy's the Arcadia Legends uh, episode, and uh, you know, we're just having some fun. Uh, previously, we fought Piasco, uh, the angel of death. She thinks we did something to her, so she's after us. And just because we're pirates, uh, she's a pretty difficult battle throughout the game. Um, and so, just we are looking to do everything as soon as it is possible to do it. So, that is the first time we can fight her. Uh, and we've recently gotten Athena as our fourth companion, or third companion. Uh, well, yeah, third. We'll suck it. Because I guess my permanent companion and drag was my, my first. So, yeah, Athena's the second one. Anyway, so we have Athena. We're heading on the way to find the Red Moon Stone, so that's what we're doing right now. We're in Middle Ocean. Uh, let me show you on the map if I can. Uh, let's see. Map. The map button, I'm sure. <laughs> it is. Yeah, so we're about right here. Uh, Same with islands over here, because this is where Piasto hangs out. Um, and then so we're heading this way. We're at, we gotta we just did all the discoveries we could right now, and so now we're just gonna um, head to Maramba, get going on the story store, get the chest there, uh, get everything going there, and then uh, see what happens. So thank you for giving, joining me, and let's go. So we're going. Going um, this way, south east, and then a little bit south. Um, bum, ba, da, da. Um, well, we're on standard speed right now, so things seem a little slow. That's why. Yeah, Out the store! Go girl! We're in an easy part, so we should be Oh, we're on, uh, we're using the, the silver moon zone oh, right now. Oh, the weapons. Trying to get some silver. Those things I like to have the availability of uh, resurrection or whatever the spell is. Let's see. Bit of magic. Yeah, so he's got level 5 red. Um, and then we're working silver up because he's at least level 3 and everything else. Uh, she's mostly at level 4 uh, and we're working her silver up. Uh, she doesn't have much, so we're going to do a lot of hers when we're uh, doing the temple. Um, just get everything she can up to 4 or 5 or 6, even because she used the basses at magic. But we're working on silver right now, just because nobody else has silver. Um, and just to show you some silver uh, magic. Yeah, so we want Rizalum, which gives you a 100% chance of reviving and a 100% of their HP back. Risen is 50-50, we don't want that, we want a good one. So we definitely want her to get up to, well, I think that's level 4 of silver too, so we definitely want her to get up to level 4 too. Uh, everybody's health looks good. Um, so yeah, we're going this way. Since we have the Harpoon Cannon, we can go through the rocks easily. So we're gonna do that, and we're just gonna head to Maramba. Because I think I've given up. Um, yeah, it's been a minute, so I'm forgetting. Yeah, now we're going to journey. So I've told them about the discovery, I'm pretty sure. If not, I can tell them at Maramba as well. But yeah, I try to do everything as soon as possible because it's pretty much a race, discovery-wise, uh, with that guy, Domingo. We, we, we saw him in one of the last episodes. Um, he likes to do discoveries. Eventually, we'll be able to stop him. Um, but for now, I'm going to... I just can't wait till she can do a uh, landverse automatica from the beginning. Huh, that was easy. That was easy. Uh, 
I keep seeing something like that. Where am I at? Where for? So yeah, we're gonna do discoveries, we're gonna do the temple, we're gonna hang out in Mamba for a little bit. Um, that's about it. This is Mirambo, pet mare. Uh, and I think we gonna work up to like level uh, 25 when we're in the temple. So this is Maramba, it's so hot. Huh? Where'd the capping go? Yeah. Hey! <gasps> ah! Wait, Captain, where are you going? This is where we park company. I've got my own quest to worry about. I've got to find a rock room. What? Wait a second. What are you what are we supposed to do in the middle of the desert without a ship? How are we supposed to continue on our mission? That's not my concern. I have no interest in crystals or temples. I must find a rock room. I can't waste any more time babysitting. My wow, he out and he out and he out. <sighs> hey, come back here, you eye patch weird freak, you rusty old man. Hey, are you listening to me? Nah, he don't. Oh my, this isn't good at all. What should we do? We can't even get out of the city, let alone make it to the temple. We're stuck here. <sighs> well, we have no choice right now other than to start exploring the city. Maybe we can find someone who can take us to the temple. That's all we can do for now. I'm so positive. Bobby. Fine, leave. I don't care. Okay, so we're here. This again glitches, which I don't expect that to happen, but I never know. We're safe. Alright, we're gonna have a bit of uh, exploration here. I love the music here. Well, I'm trying to find which one of these does it. Anyways, I have to change my buttons around a little bit, so it's gonna take some getting used to again. I love the music here, though, seriously. Turn my camera around. Uh, let's see, so that's the first thing out here. Let's see what's going on here. Make sure we move. Oh, there's the guy who says, I'm known as the mystery merchant. I bring goods from around the world. Many of these you may never see again. I own the caravan and it's all kind of it's come. You see my wares for yourself. Okay. Yeah, he said, this is a slave ring, which I'm using already. Nothing new that I want. Uh, I can see if I have anything to sell. Mohemus ring. I definitely want it. Um, she's in the ring. Is that so that ring you can have it? Ooh, black map. That's gonna be great for when we're leveling up. Uh, I might keep the slayer ring, slayer ring for when I get another companion. Perhaps. What are we gonna hear? Okay. Yellow piece. Oh, and this is a perfect place too because it can let you get the might crystal or whatever it is, um, and that makes it easier for you not to have to use Ingram um, because Ingram costs magic and spirit points, but an item doesn't cost anything. You can use it even if she's blocking magic, so that is going to be perfect. I'm going to fill up on those when I get inside. Thank you very much. Perhaps our chef path shall cross the king someday. I hope you have some new stuff when our paths cross again. Welcome. How goes the sailing? You wish to buy cannons and blast your enemies out of the sky? Well, we don't have our own ship right now, to be honest. Well, that's very unfortunate. I wish to show you my newest weapon called the Torpedo. You can even set which round it will strike. It's perfect for concentrating much firepower to a short period of time. Alright, till next time, bub. Yo! Vice the Valiant. Of course I've heard of you. Everyone has been talking of your exploits. Welcome to the Sailor's Guild. 
let's see, add seeds of family. Will be the Larsen clan is the next one in. He usually hangs out here, but he's not gonna be here till after I do the temple. In every port of any size, you should always find a branch. Office of sales I suggest you pay a business. Alright, yeah, right. So that's what we got here. We got the moonfish that was out here. There are no chests out here. There's uh, a couple boats or ships or whatever they're called. Well, you know, we can't do anything with them because they're not ours. And then so we're gonna go upstairs into town. Get all the rest of the stuff we're missing, eh? Okay, there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chests here. Uh, yes, I'm looking at a guide a little bit. This, well, I know where everything is, but I was going to get everything. Oh, let's see about upgrading our weapons. That'd be great. Yo. Welcome. Ah, are you Vice the Valiant, who stands against the forces of Valor? Please, I would be honored if you would buy my wares. Okay, let's see it. Yes, I need a better weapon for sure. Get it over. Okay, get the other one for Fina. I don't think that's better for her. Yeah. And then get this for uh, Aika. It's not better than I have on. Uh, let's see, you know, this is worth it, but I can sell what I just uh, Who do I need that? Keeping that stuff. Let's talk. Ten years ago, my father was still with us and running the store. A war broke out in Balor. To keep them from being destroyed in the war, my father hid our merchandise and found the treasures in the city sewer system. The sewer system is a complicated maze. When my father went back to retrieve our uh, things after the war, he could not remember where everything was hidden. After searching for weeks, he gave up. Only if it is all still down there. Well, don't worry, we will get it for ya. Mm -hmm. Farewell. I know the Red Moon always watch over me. I mean, the sun in the sky is watching, ain't it? There's a chest up there. Um, there's a moon fish around. I so have to get a roof to get it. Um, this is the cobble skewer lady. Use it for a few to create this intense flame. So maybe that's what secret to roasting just right. Yo. You. Cobble skewer lady. You are a sailor, are you not? I can tell by yourself. Hm. You say there's nothing but trouble. I had a daughter, but she fell in love with a sailor who drifted into town one day. The next thing I knew, she ran off with this good for nothing sailor and left me here to run this shop by myself. I have not heard from her since. Huh. She probably lying dead in the gutter somewhere right now. Damn! You don't know. What is cabal school? What are you cooking? This looks big. I think you're cooking these things right here. And yo. Let's take to the. In the desert, water is life. That is why we must carry water every day from the well. There was a well in the other part of the city, but it's been dry for a long time now. Oh, they're trying to tell me something, bro. Is the item shop over right here? I see a chest right there. Yo! Welcome, welcome! It's the infamous Vice Civilian. Come, look at my wares! Okay, let's talk first. Long ago, Valor and Nassau were locked in a terrible war. Since then, political relations between our two nations have been strained. However, trade hasn't been affected. Many merchants have traveled to Valor and use Valor trade routes, so we have Valor and goods too. Alright. It's a mite, see, that's what, it, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, like I said, it it's like Encrim, but with an item. So you don't have to use magic or spirit points. That's what makes it easier in battle to Encrim Vice up and then, you know. Anyway, I keep 95 in case I find a chest. This song? I never use. Uh, so, yeah, we can sell four of these. 
because if you are full and you find a chest, uh, it won't let you take it. So I definitely want to be able to take everything that comes up. Thank you, thank you. Yes, farewell. Okay. Uh, so I see a chest over here. Here, who's in here? Nothing. It's just somebody's house, I guess. Why is there a fire going on? It's hot. AF. It's the desert. I've talked to the maiden already. Uh, that's, this is. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Welcome, travelers, to the beautiful and warm, even ever warm lands of Nassau. Excuse me. Enjoy Maramba, the oasis of the desert, and fear not while we, you are here. The Red Moon watches over all of us in the lands of Nassau. Thanks. I feel welcome already. The warmth of the moon warms our hearts here in Nassau. I wish only to share with you that which I have been blessed with myself. Oh, they got warm parts here. Here's the red moon. Oh, I hear a cham. <coughs> this is just a stay at the end. We're not going to do that right now. Where you at? Oh, there it is. Down here. Got it. Alright, we got the cham. Yeah, magic droplets time three. Um, that's gem number four. And that's the first chest of about seven. Oh, I got three beds exactly in case we stay here, huh? How very interesting. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's anything in this corner. They always act like Dracula has all the money. Alright, we can't get over there, but I saw a chest. Um, so I guess the rest is by writing this guy. So we will. Oh, this pen and water. I think that's what that lady's cooking. In the cable scourge. Oh, what else they have around here? Yo. Welcome, my friend. Are you planning on crossing to the other parts of the city? Perhaps you wish to ride a dabu. Dabu, that's what it is. The sands of the desert are too hot to walk upon. It's the best to take the dabu. Yeah, turn it over. Dabu stands them up with red poles. You can dismount from dabu wherever you see these red poles. Three of us can't fit up here, that's all I'm saying. Um, this way first, and this is where the moon fish is. Nope, and there's nothing up here. Waste of time. <laughs> moon fish, I can see it over there. And we go to this. This fella. And one and two and one and two. Welcome, traveler. Here, here, young desert traveler. Stay a moment and listen to what I have to tell you. Okay. I spent more than half my lifetime at war with Valor. When the Sultan, our king, charged me with leaving his fleet in an attack on the Valoran mainland, but those yellow bellied Valorans hidden in their grand fortune and refused to come out. That is why I'm working out so that one day I can break the gate of grand forces myself. Okay, you're gonna fist a cut through a fortress. That's what you're saying. <laughs> wow. Okay, you received NASA combat mail. Is that, is that for advice? Um, I could be. That's not be it. Okay, this one. I mean, it is better in regards to attack. It's not better. No! I mean, it's better in attack. I mean, it doesn't lower defense and stuff too much. I don't see if it's better for somebody else, though. Yeah, it's much better for Ike than for me. Did she warn it? I don't know. I'll just give it to Pete. Uh, Ika. Okay, we got the NASA combat mail. 
give it to Aika. And we're gonna go get the little fish and then we're gonna head to the other side. Take these broken wings. But this well still has okay, this well still has water. The one across the way doesn't. Look at this Dabu sign. That's cool. And there's a chest of these, it's well worth it. <sighs> yes, this is about the one. Got it. That's two more moonfish. Slipara box. Slipara is uh, the sleep spell. Well, that would be so I don't have the magic or spirit points to get the slip to put people to sleep. But I don't like to use specialty effects too much. I like to attack. <laughs> I like to attack and increase my attack. That's pretty much the only magic I use. Uh, attack magic, not status magic. Alright, we're heading to the other side. up here. You received 300 gold. Oh, that's four chests down. These are probably about three underground. That guy was talking about in the, and that woman was talking about in the well. Alright, so I have to get off this thing. So this guy, what up, boy, hey, my dad's a merchant, my grandpa was a merchant, and my great-grandpa was a merchant too. I'm going to become a merchant and travel the desert as I'm a Dabu, just like everyone else in my family. Sounds fun. Actually, let's in here. Yo. Yo, I got you. Fortune time. Welcome, I'm Khalifa, seer of the Red Moon. I'm the most renowned fortune teller in all of NASA. Travelers from across the skies come to see. Come to me seeking knowledge and wisdom of the moon. There is no future I do not know, no path I cannot see how far there is, and who can make your journey? Okay. Hmm. Ha! The Red Moon has spoken to the east of here lies the temple which the sacred red moon lies buried in the hot sun. Before this week, you're placing it very much of you. Okay, I sort of already knew that. <laughs> Alright, and they weren't kidding about this being a maze. I always get lost. I'm not getting in there and then getting back out of there. Always a trip. So, if this takes the rest of the episode, I'm sorry. Turn around so I can see. So, these. Buttons and stuff. So before we press anything, we're just gonna see everywhere we can possibly go. Um, but there's buttons to change which gates are open, and that's why you get lost. It's just not super. So yeah, before we press anything, I can go to the other side, get the chest that I saw in that hole, and it's a moonberry. I have the moonberry situation. Though. Too sweet. Um, yeah, her mirror epsilon is trash, and her omega thing's trash too. So I don't really need it. Uh, we can get going with his. I think I do like her. Cleanses all allies of adverse effects. So, but I also want to get to his. But that would be like four points. So I'm just gonna do like uh, Venus because that way she's caught up with all of us. And then I'll work on Vice. Um, and you know, if I get a lot of Moonstone uh, berries, of course I will do all of them. But you know, as we get them, I'm gonna do Vice's next, then Fina again, and then finish off Vice. So. There's a gate. Can be moved. 
So yeah, when you come in here, first explore every direction you can go before you press any buttons. You see, that's it. So, oh, his way. Okay, so we're gonna press this button first. And then I'm gonna see about going this way, I think. There's another button, I'm not pressing that. See, and now this chest is open. Uh, excavation arm, that's for Dracula. Uh, this one's blocked. There's a way. Where's my map? That's all need the map. There's a way around. Um, see, when I first came in, I came around the big way. There's a way around. That's this that I want to go. Um, no, this way. Yeah, I want to go this way for this chest. Um, and I think that's it. So we don't want to be stuck outside of there. This is the way I open. I think. Let's see, Let's see, I already can do this. And I need to open this gate. But be ready be able to get around there. So see if I press this, this gate will open and close me in and this gate will open and close me in. So I can't press this button. Um, that's a button I pressed already. So that will just take it back where it was. So I'm going to try this button. And then we'll see what's happening this way. Um, if I go back this way. Way. Oh, both of these are open. Okay, turn around. Still close. But if I press this way, I think I could go around this way. <laughs> Alright. That did not help me whatsoever. Try this one then. Go this way. And back this way. Get a block. And we can go this way. And this way. Oh, the gate's still closed. This is Gym of Fluidity, which I think Fina can wear. Uh, I'll get our equipment, please. Must be it. This one. Gym of Fluidity. To bring those things down, would anyone bring that up? We'll bring Magic up 10. Which is pretty, uh, let's see about like, uh, same pretty much. But this keeps our hit points up, which I think is most important. Um, being a would be magic user, I think what I have is good. Oh. Now we gotta figure out the way out of here, which is. Um, let me open this back. This is usually the other issue is finding a way out of here. Oops, this is the way to that. And I want to go. Yeah, 
Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. I think this is the way out, right? Or is this the other way? No, this is the way I can go. Wait! We've done it! But, like I said, to the rest of the episode, I will, um, do the cutscene, and then we'll end this one. But I got all the chests, um, I've got both moonfish, I got a cham, uh, I think that's about it here. So yeah, we'll just go chit-chat with the peeps in here at the band studio. Hey, Mo. Hey, old sailor. You wish to see the new dancer too? Malena's dancing in Maramba's new star attraction. You definitely don't want to leave without seeing her. Okay. What's up, G? What about Those slender legs, that soft, smooth skin, that silky red hair, she's poetry in motion. Last time I saw her, I knew it was love. I've come every day just to watch her dance. Paper. <laughs> hey, Belena, over here. Hey, blow off. Can't you see I'm trying to watch the show here? What, you need a ship? <laughs> Sorry, kid, but I got plans of my own. See that Belena over there? I'm gonna ask her to sail with me tonight. Fine, we'll go find a different ship. Yo. Well, well, hello, handsome. I don't think I've seen you around here before. If you come to rest your weary feet, you come to the right place to make yourself comfortable and stay alive. Sure, that sounds like an awesome idea. That actually sounds like a great idea. It's been a while since we've had time to relax. Please stay. Stay as long as you like. Sit down, sit down. Let's order up some drinks, folks. Oh, in NASA, I guess they, they just sit on the ground. Feels good to finally sit down. Well, we shouldn't rest too long. We gotta go look for a ship. I wonder where we can find one. Maybe we should try the docks. <gasps> Can't believe that Captain Dragon just left us here. I'm sure he had his reasons to leave, but I wish he'd said something sooner. He didn't have to leave us here in the desert, right, Vice? Ooh, Vice was here. <laughs> Vice? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Look at her face. Hey. Yo. Vice, have you heard a single word I've said? Um, yeah, I'm listening. You're talking about the desert. You're acting like you've never seen a girl before. If you could pry your eyes away from that dance for a few seconds. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop staring. <laughs> okay, okay, it's just that she's such a good dancer. I didn't want to insult her by looking away. New eyes and customs, you know. What kind of excuse is that? You're dressing with your eyes, not that it would take you that long. You weren't zooming in, were you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but seriously, don't you think she was looking over here more than the times I think she likes me? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, we try to toss some sense in one. Huh? Do you really find it hard to believe? Well, Vice is very attractive. What? <laughs> I don't think it would be strange at all. That dancer was looking at him. Thanks, Fina. You know what's up. <laughs> You're kidding, right? I swear to you. someone like her. I mean, you know where she's been. Whoops. <laughs> oh, um, I... So, um... Do you travel or...? Tell me something. You wouldn't happen to be a group of empires that escaped from the Grand Fortress now, would you? That's me. Huh? How did you know that? Well, if you hang around these places like this, you overhear all kinds of things. Rumors, local gossip, news about other land. You even hear stories about empires needing a ship. Want? Well, I can give you a lift. What do you say? Really? Thanks. That'll help us a lot. Wait a second. Why would you help us? You don't even know who we are. Let's just say that anyone who can escape from the Valley Grand Fortress will interest me. Bum 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 bum. My name is Valena. I've been making preparations. I'll begin making preparations. I think we have a port first thing tomorrow morning. See you around, handsome. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, that's the end of this episode. Um, next time, we're gonna head to Temple of Prin on this, her baby ship <laughs> and uh, see if we can get that red moonstone. 
uh, in the next episode. Probably not. I'm probably going to do some grinding, uh, get my level up to 24, 25, something like that. Um, and because, you know, why not? I like to be ahead of the game, really. Uh, she's not going to help us when we get Dracula back. He's going to be low level, but hey, whatever. You shouldn't have left us. Huh? Uh, so yeah, until next time, see you then.